What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Astro DFS bringing you a brand new video. In today's video, going over week eight's Monday night showdown on DraftKings between the Giants and Steelers. Uh, before we get there, I'm just going to recap uh, the main slate, yesterday's main slate, uh, and just what I had my line at. So this is the, the massive double up. I, I recommend everyone that uh, wants to grow their bankroll to really target this um, every week. Just go for it. Um, you can still play tournaments, but this is my recommendation. So, uh, top 2,000 cash, I cashed by 18 points. I was very worried going into the afternoon games uh, as Tua and Tyreek kind of disappointed. A.J. Brown disappointed me. Um, I did play two tight ends that did pay off in Kate Otten and Nujoku. Played Achan um, instead of going Brees Hall in the, uh, the early games, and Achan paid off, even though... Mostert got two touchdowns, A-Chan still paid off. Uh, but yeah, in, in the afternoon games, um, had Javante, had uh, Ladd, and had the Bears defense. Javante, uh, as you can see, disappointing. Uh, but Ladd McConkey just had an explosive game uh, that definitely saved me in cash. I, I'm, I'm not even going to lie about it. Uh, the Bears defense gave up points to end the game. Otherwise, would have had a couple extra points there as well. But uh, overall... Uh, <laughs> was very worried uh, going into the afternoon games. Did, did cash, uh, so just going to take it. Overall, really good day. Had uh, really good uh, tournament lines. Uh, made a lot of profit. So if you guys are interested in any of this, uh, the link for our website will be in the description down below where we have uh, not only just main slates, but showdown uh, on both FanDuel and DraftKings, uh, and as well as bets and props, and then any fantasy or DFS questions. So if you guys are interested in any of that, very cheap subscription package. Uh, just click the link in the description. Uh, now, uh, going over this slate, it, it's kind of an ugly game, uh, top to bottom. I'm not even going to lie. This is probably going to be one of the quicker showdown videos uh, because there's not a lot to go off of. There, There's really not. Um, I, I'm going off of I want Malik Neighbors. I want George Pickens. I want Wondell Robinson. Those are three guys I really want in my lineups tonight. Uh, Malik Neighbors. Uh, just a huge target uh, wide receiver. First game back, still gets eight targets against Philly. To they were getting blown out, uh, but still got eight targets in that game. Uh, disappointing if you know you expected more, but first game back and a tough opponent. Uh, Wandell Robinson still just a huge target machine, uh, just paying off. Wandell has the better matchup out of the two, but if we're talking against zone coverage, Malik Neighbors slight. Uh, slightly has the advantage there. So both the wide receivers I like tonight. I'm I'm not really interested in Daniel Jones, even though yeah I get it. You're playing both receivers without the quarterback, but you, we can go and look at Daniel Jones's fantasy numbers this season, uh, and they're really boomer bust. That's that's pretty much how he's been. Um, the Steelers have not allowed quarterbacks to really run on them, which is where Daniel Jones gets a decent amount of points. Uh, on the other side of it, Russell Wilson against the Giants. The Giants' defense is getting a lot of pressure. Uh, we've seen Pittsburgh's offensive line hold up quite good at times this season. Uh, but against this uh, Giants' defensive line, pressure could get there. Russ, a uh, really impressive game against the Jets, uh, especially the second half. The first half was very worrisome if you were a Steelers fan. I uh, thought they might go back to Justin Fields, but uh, Russell Wilson... Uh, definitely had a huge turnaround. Like it, it's crazy on DraftKings, the most expensive player is ten thousand on the slate. Usually you get three or four, you get somebody above eleven. Maybe on a certain slate you get a twelve k, but Malik Neighbors at ten k is the most expensive. So uh, you could do a lot of stuff uh, with lineups tonight. There's just not a lot of of point potential in my opinion, based off of how this game looks um, on paper. But yeah, George Pickens against man coverage is a, a dominant. He we we saw it when Russ gave him the 50-50 balls um, last week. Had an explosive game against a very good Jets secondary. Uh, five receptions, 111 yards, uh, and a touchdown. 25 DraftKings points. So a uh, huge game out of him. Uh, it's another good spot to where the Giants secondary uh, gives up a decent amount of yards. Um, I'm more interested uh, on this one of Najee versus uh, Warren. Obviously, I think Pickens is pretty much the only pass catcher that is very consistent on this team. The others, even Pat Firemuth, uh, are, are just inconsistent with their targets. 
and, and who's going to see the ball. George Pickens seems like the only guy that's uh, going to consistently get targets. But in the run, we saw uh, Warren get a decent, I think more than half the snaps Warren got. But Najee Harris, I mean, the rushing attempts. 21 last week for 102 yards. Um, really didn't get anything in the receiving game. Uh, two touchdowns in the last two games. Has another really good opportunity against a team that allows the most yards per carry, uh, the New York Giants. So I, I like Najee Harris in this one for sure. But going running back for the Giants, like Devin Singletary's first game back against Philly, uh, just, you know, that game was out of control. So there, there's not much to go off of there. But uh, Tyrone Tracy looked good while um, Singletary was out. Tracy is 4,400 uh, compared to Singletary's 8,400, so a $4,000 uh, pay decrease if you wanted to go to Tyron Tracy instead of Singletary. Um, but, you know, Najee, 2,000 more than Warren to where we see Warren get a few targets in the backfield, uh, 12 carries. It's not the worst thing, right? It's not the worst thing, but uh, two weeks to where uh, Pittsburgh's putting up some points and Jalen Warren just is getting overtaken by Najee Harris on the ground. Uh, usually J- uh, Jalen Warren is is um, overtaking Najee, and everyone wants to make that comparison and say that Warren deserves more, but uh, Najee's just been pretty consistent, right? He He's going to get his big yard, uh, yardage runs every now and then. He's not going to be like a Derrick Henry uh, to where he could do it at any time. No, it, it, it builds. So if you want to pay 2000 less for Jalen Warren, go for it. Uh, I just like Najee Harris, especially in the red zone uh, tonight. Uh, Pat Firemuth, not really interested in him tonight. And go look at his numbers. Uh, and just, yet again, the consistency is is not there for what you need. Like, if you're paying 6200 for a guy that consistently sees uh, three to five targets, um, only two touchdowns on the season, yeah, then, then go Pat Firemuth in this game against a Giants defense that plays tight ends fairly well uh, I just think he's too expensive like I'm I'm rather going you know a defense here and a kicker than I am going Pat Firemuth so uh I, I definitely think both defenses are in play tonight even though I favor the Steelers defense I still think the Giants for the amount of sacks they get it is playable right so we see against a really good passing team in Seattle they get seven uh against another good offense in Cincinnati they get four and last week against Philly, to where Philly scored 28 points, the Giants still get five sacks in this game, right? They're not going to be a turnover team. Uh, that's kind of not how their defense is built. They're just going to put pressure on the quarterback uh, and, and get some sacks. So, yeah, they're 3,400 for a defense uh, against a team that just scored 30-plus on the Jets uh, is worrisome, but in, in this game, uh, I'm for it, right? Uh, Boswell is definitely, definitely, definitely playable tonight. Uh, we see him have success, uh, especially at home, um, just throughout his career, just being successful. But um, last two weeks, we've kind of seen the Steelers be able to drive the ball. Maybe not always scored, but uh, Chris Boswell has always been clutch. Um, and him at home, yeah, I, I just where his comfort zone, fine with playing Chris uh, Boswell at his price point. Reason being, like, you go down and look at the players here, there's not a lot of value, right? Uh, If I'm looking at value on tonight's slate, someone like uh, Darnell Washington, 2,800. Russ gets in last week. He sees four targets for 36. I'd rather pay 2,800 for him than uh, Pat Firemuth, 6,200. It's just neither one really has, um, has love from Arthur Smith. So uh, if you want to play a tight end on Pittsburgh, Darnell Washington for, uh, what, 3400 cheaper. Uh, Theo Johnson, 2400 though, is kind of the, the value I'm looking at. Uh, obviously, last week didn't see any targets, but the two weeks before against Cincy and Seattle sees uh, three and five. So, yeah, it, it's th- this game is just very, very ugly, right? Like, uh, Tyrone Tracy should be the lead back, but we could see Devin Singletary easily do it. We could see Tyrone Tracy get, you know, more carries. You don't know who's going to see the ball on Pittsburgh. That's the Arthur Smith effect. 
Like, you don't know if it's going to be someone like Calvin Austin, who he's seen nine targets in the last two games. Um, Darnell Washington. Like, it, it's just so random there in Pittsburgh with Arthur Smith. So, if I'm building lineups right, I want exposure to both defenses. I especially want exposure to, to Boswell. Uh, you could go Joseph, right? Uh, Pittsburgh been a pretty good red zone defense, but uh, a kicker with a uh, sorry, try not to sneeze. A uh, kicker with a seventy five percent make percentage. Uh, just not loving it, right? So, uh, although it is playable, it with, with how ugly this game could be, a kicker could easily be uh, a top player. Uh, I, I'm going to get some of these big names up here, and I'm just going to punt uh, with like uh, the likes of Theo Johnson, Darnell Washington, Calvin Austin, um, maybe Hayward. Like it, It's just so, so ugly of a game. Um, so, yeah, it's that, that's all I'm really going off of, right? I'm, I'm targeting the top receivers. I want Neighbors, Pickens, um, and Wandell. I want Najee. If I get ownership exposure to quarterbacks, I do, but I don't need them tonight. I don't. So, um, I, I don't think Russ or Daniel Jones are, is a must on this slate. So, uh, good good luck with your lineups, man. This I am very very interested to see what the top line looks like uh, when this game is said and over. You know, maybe the Giants offense just goes out and, and they, they start out hot and this is a high-scoring game. Or maybe both offenses struggle and both teams just want to win and they play very conservative. So, uh, I'm I'm really torn on this game. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, thank you yet again for all the support. Please leave a like if you you did like the video and subscribe if you're interested in all my content throughout the DFS season. And I'll see you guys in the next one.